welcome back everyone to Scandinavia! I think that's probably going to become my new intro right now. <laughs> so guys, uh, this episode I was debating if I wanted to declare war on the Livonian Order and if it was time and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think it basically is. I just have to make sure there isn't any big, co you know, coalitions against me right now. You know, Norway, not that big of a coalition. I think I could probably deal with them. Um, I have a good a lot. I have a good amount of troops over here, just chilling out in the new call in the new world. You know, if things really do become bad in the in this sense, I will go kill them. And I have my troops right here in the colony of Manhattan. So if these guys also do something stupid. I have them right there waiting to just destroy them. Anyways, though, we are going to be sending our armies to go deal with the Ligonian in order, and basically we're just going to try to tear them up. So. They are having an alliance with Hodenstein, Hungary, and Brandenburg. Uh, basically countries that will not harm me at all. So, yeah, due to my relationships with Hodenstein right here, I don't think they will attack me. So let's just deal with these guys, declare war. We're going to be taking, we're going to be officially taking inland German land. That's the war we really need to. So let's get that done with. And let's see, so let's see, who joined against us? Did Norway join against us? I don't think they could. No, Norway joined against us again. Wow. Okay, and it seems like there's a couple potential. But oh my goodness, Holdenstein? My friends? I freed you! What the heck? Okay, well it seems like we're actually gonna have to go send some decent amount of forces. I'm gonna start slowing down time just a little bit. Go down to here. Yeah, we're gonna have to go send actual forces to go deal with this. Um. Not my idea. I'm also going to divide my army. I'm pretty sure, like, almost positive they do not have enough men to kind of be able to take me on. You know, even if they had even if they had enough men around me, I'd be able to still fight them all off. Okay. The Ivonio that has 25 ships over there, so I'm going to actually stop protecting trade, keep my ships right in there in protective position, because I don't want them to die. Because that shipyard looks pretty deadly. Okay. Um, my ships are rushing back to come save us. No way, we have to first get over here. We have to go slightly faster than that. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Come on, guys. Hurry. There we go. Alright, you guys go down here. And country at war. Yay. And let's raise wartime taxes. Yay. I, I don't remember the bad a part about raising wartime taxes are, but for right now, they're really good. Okay, so let's see. Over here, that's going good. I'm not really expecting Norway to do much except just kind of hold up and hope that no one destroys them. Uh, Livonian Order should just be able to take it. I don't think they're going to do much. And at this point, we should be able to just take as much as we want. Uh, new world, guys. New world. Okay, and then over here we're sending in our armies, and hey everyone, we're finally a great power! At least by militaristic standards, we are now a great power, so I'm going to go send my forces over here. We're going to go, I guess we're just going to go land it on top of the uh, Hodenstein bases, because they are being jerks. I, I never thought Hodenstein would have the guts to declare war against me. And just to make sure I'm not forgetting, there we go. So I'm fully supporting my men, there should be no problem with that. No problem whatsoever. And I'm finally going to get control of Esperanza. Okay, it seems like they're finally starting to group some units together. You know, that's pretty cool. Um, uh, calling apart into aid unit conflict. Why? Positive. Alright, let's send you a gift then. No. Send a gift. Send 20 bucks. Okay, so next turn you guys should be able to. No, still? We started more. We start. War started 60 minutes. 60 years ago. 60 days ago. Okay, we just have to wait. Basically, what I'm hearing is that we're just gonna have to wait for a little bit. We're gonna have to wait until they're done, like, complaining, and then we'll be fine. Alright. I have a lot of administrative power, 
which I'm not really using it for anything particularly. I could boost my stability up, but I don't really see much point. Um, I do have some ships. You guys will be building in Scandinavia. You could probably build its own uh, trade company. What? Oh, yeah, these are all production stuff. No. That's a little bit advanced for you guys. Um, you guys can probably go, uh... Hmm. We discovered all this. I think we're almost done with the entire discovery of the world. We might just go start discovering Africa, actually. But I, I will use you, don't worry. I will use you eventually. But right now, I'm in a big war. And right now, I can't really focus in on colonies. Like, seriously. I'm just kind of dealing with my own stuff. And it looks like the Lithuania flood is going to take a little bit, which is nice. Um, <laughs> Lithuania seems to be gathering up its army. They're finally attacking me, which is nice. Going to divide half my men, go send them in to go battle. I should... You Don't tell me you guys are not going to be able to hold out long enough for my men to arrive. Thank you. I was about to say, that'd be pretty sad if you guys could not hold out until my men arrived. Okay. We got all these guys get in, and let's see, how's the war scroll looking? So, officially, they look like they're going to win, but unofficially, I probably will win this because they're dealing with two wars right now. Okay, and let's see, my ships are racing as fast as they can to go over there. Over here, we have all these guys. Uh, new settlers, 56% tracks of traction. They're almost done. That's good. They're almost done with those colonies. That's nice. Um, I'm racing back for as long as I can. We're just, we're just casually trying to kick out all these guys, and they're obviously trying to do the best they can to fight me. It. Oh my goodness! Did you really? That might have just doomed that siege. I didn't realize they could actually have a chance to defeat me. Yep. I don't know how, but they defeated me. Just stay here. Oh gosh. Okay. Seems like I'm gonna have to take this semi seriously. And it seems like Hodenstein's really starting to aggravate me. I don't. You know, I wanna. <laughs> I know this is gonna be pretty bad, but I'm just gonna annex Hodenstein in this war. They should have been. Uh, they should have been one of my friends. I freed them from their own country's demise, and yet they decide to attack me. Oh gosh. This might end in our favor, but this might not. It, Depends. Oh gosh, it's not going to be in our favor at all. Oh gosh, I don't know why we're losing so badly, but just retreat. Okay, we just gained some prestige, which is completely useless in this game. Ah gosh, I don't know why we're losing so badly. Ah, gosh, I don't know why these guys always keep going back so far. Okay, artillery. That was pretty bad losses right there. I mean, severely bad. Um. Hmm. Okay. We have our reinforcements coming in for a little bit here soon. Um, over here though, gosh dang. Alright, I'm gonna go send my soldiers in. We're gonna go group them up all again, and we're gonna go destroy the Libonians. That was a pretty bad siege, I'll admit it right now. Um, we're dealing with a lot right now though. So, yeah, and I did not expect Hodenstein to join in. That was the one, there's always one character you do not expect to join in. And they were one of them. Okay, let's go. Let's go have you guys. Let's go dock up right here because I don't really trust the seas right now because right now we have evil patrolling ships and it's giving us a lot of war squad. Okay. Okay, let's get that done with. Do we have our colony done with? Okay, we do. Um. Hmm. Once that's done, the base tax will become ours, and that will be nice. So now we're starting to lose money. Holy shoot, that's a lot of money. Oh gosh.
There we go. That should be able to last us for a little bit. Which is all we need. I just need to make sure that we do all of our strategies correctly. Uh, let's see, did I air die by accident? Did I accidentally kill my air? Call Ribbing? No, Call Ribbing's still alive. Which is good. Is he still a militaristic commander? Yes, he is. He's just leading. Oh, I know what he's doing. He's leading one of these troops. Okay, yeah, and it seems like Lithuania is not doing anything in this war. Improvements. Uh, just use caution. I don't have time to deal with, like, inflation and stuff like that. This war is taking up a lot of things. Yeah, this is going to be a big war, I can only tell you. I did not realize how much this is going to be. Um, over here, it seems like we're winning. It should win. I'm not... I'll be extremely mad if this loses. Like, almost to the point of tears if that loses. Okay, there we go. Destroy them. Seems like we have Catholic Zealots, Catholic Zealots. Oh gosh. They picked the perfect time to rebel, too. Okay. Let's go stomp out all these rebellions, and then once we've done that, then we'll go start. No, no. Go start dealing with the rebellions right now, and then, then we'll go start dealing with the rest of the other stuff. Um, it seems like Hodenstein has retreated completely out of my land. That's good. We're going to reconquer all this, and then we're just going to go send this army, go destroy all these guys. And who are we at war with specifically, so I know? Okay, all of this. And we could go, I mean, I'm honestly thinking this, we could go and just go destroy all these ships right here. Let's see. I have enough, do I have enough men? Yeah, I have enough. Let's just keep all of our soldiers inward, and we're just going to go start destroying all these ships over here. Start taking back the seas. Because I don't like the fact that they own the seas. It should be ours. Conquest. Primitive heathens. Okay, now we're starting to get that causes Bella. Which is nice. Okay, let's go to start destroying some of these guys. Let's go to start showing our militaristic might. Okay, now we got the exact even number. I'm going to go send in more ships. Okay, I'm, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure if we'll be able to make it. But I'm pretty sure we're more higher tech than these guys. Let's see. Uh, Technology wise... No, the Vonian Order is basically kept up. They've actually are ahead of us in military. That's kind of scary. But I have 27 ships there, destroying everything they have. That should work right there. Okay, my my troops are moving as fast as they can to go destroy the rest of that. My troops over here are just destroying. I think we destroyed whatever forces were right there. In fact, I think I'm going to detach a siege and go send some of it to go conquer this. So we can capture the Hodenstein and... Oh gosh! They have more army men coming up. Yeah, there's Hodenstein's army. Are they sending it after me or are they just ignoring me? Hopefully they don't have a direct access to my land. The Battle of Stenmark. Where are they going actually? Well... Some fleet will arrive in southern... Chase after them. I'm actually thinking that maybe we should chase after these guys. Because they are the only fleet that's really going to be able to fight me in this. Okay. And we got this boarded up. And Hansa doing a lot of damage themselves. And my soldiers are going to go crush everything in their path, which is good. And then we're chasing after these so We're chasing after these ships so that we can kill them. Let's see. Hengrad... Yeah, go chase after them. Go chase after them. Self-staining, yes. Okay, and that's actually bad at the same time, because now I have to deal with even more. So, I think I'm going to stop. I'm just going to stop for a little bit to colonize. Like, we're just going to completely and utterly stop. Because as much as I love the taxes, it's also going to be costing us a lot. So, I'm just going to stop for a little bit. I'll come back to it, don't worry. But just for until this war is over, I'm going to have to get there. And this guy definitely does not want to join in because we're losing, which is fine. I understand. It's actually doing what the yeah, AI is supposed to do. Hmm. Nipid is revolting. We have to wait a little bit. Let's let's fast forward this a little bit. I'm getting a little bit bored just sitting here. Come on, fast forward. Okay. And I'm blocking these guys from escaping. 
and we'll just keep our fleet right here so when when my guys siege down those cities we'll be able to destroy them easily and these guys will destroy them okay you guys are moving in right there seems like we have another army over there I'm gonna have to go destroy oh my goodness where did that 19k just come from that was actually a little bit legitly scary. Okay, now we can stop hunting rebels. Okay, now that we've basically done what we need to do. Okay, 16k versus this. I don't care how much you guys are good. You guys are not going to win this. Okay, you have claims on your own. Okay. So, let's see. Where are you guys moving to? In German land, that's exactly where I was moving to. And Lithuania is getting its butt torn apart. The ships are about to be destroyed. So I'm about to destroy whatever they have. And I'm about to destroy whatever army this is. Hodenstein taking you guys out. Okay. And then that is a scary force. It is really a balanced force too. Gosh. I don't know where they came up with that army, but they have that army. So I'm gonna have to really watch out for it. Oh gosh. Okay, we conquest causes better. I'm getting a lot of conquest causes better ideas now. Okay, 42, come on, fall already. Okay, I'm watching out though. I, I'm my army. If I see the first sign of trouble, I'm going to leave. I'm not. I'm not staying in this city. I'm not staying in, in a German land to get myself killed. But I'm going to get the war goal so we can start getting some prestige. And let's see. Spread disease. Send aid. We always send aid. Okay, and we got a peace offer from Hodenstein. Hodenstein will concede. Uh, no, yeah, yeah, you guys are going to, if you guys want out of this, you guys are going to become the Scandinavian vassals. Uh, at the very, at the very least, you guys are going to concede defeat first off, and then you guys are going to release, hmm, actually it would be pretty bad if they, like, became our vassals, so I just realized that that would actually cost a lot. So let's just give him, give me all your money. There we go. Because they're part of the HRE, so that would actually cost us a lot. And then I'm going to go move these guys over here. Well, actually, we're going to go deal with Norway. These soldiers are now going to go deal with Norway. Now that we have time, now that our forces are now uh, destroying whatever they can, just keep hunting down. I want to make sure we keep hunting down these troops. We're gonna keep hunting down all these guys. So yeah, we just defeated them. And gosh, we could. Delaware is now blocked. I mean, we are still blocking all of the good ports from the uh, from the rest of the Europeans. I mean, we're basically, if, if I must be honest with you, we're probably crea recreating the 13 colonies, just Scandinavian style. And since this is new. Um, this is new Scandinavia, you know, we have to really- Oh my goodness, what in the world? Holy shit, they just all spread out on my land. Okay, well that's actually a good sign. As soon as we're done with this siege, I'll go, go start attacking some of these guys. Nine neglect. Uh, I don't like any of this, but let's get the tax modifier. Uh, uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to finish their- Thing anytime soon, so we'll be able to destroy it. Uh, give in. Gonna have to give in this time. Okay, go send some soldiers right over there. Okay. Okay. Come on, guys. Take the stupid inner German land. Seriously. We have proven many times it's not that hard to destroy Germans. <laughs> In many of my playthroughs, we have proven that. So please, do your job. Okay, let's get some cores right here too. Let's see, how much are you guys giving me in tax? So you guys are giving me a pretty good amount of tax, so you guys are giving me money. Um, we can get some new conversions going. Um, um, anywhere important. Yeah, let's just keep getting the easy colonies first so we can keep getting more, you know, more taxes so we can start getting more army. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go start destroying some of these armies. If we destroy them all right now, we could definitely do stuff. Because that's... We can't let the Livonian Order group up again. This That'd be very bad. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
go on a warpath this way. I mean, if they conquer one province, that's fine. I'm fine with one conquering one province. Nobles are worried. Boost stability, of course. But luckily, I think I have enough to boost it back up immediately. Booyah. Oh, yes, and we still won. What? Okay, let's see. Just stay right here. Because the three want to attack me. Okay, let's see. You guys are going to go to Vinsburg. Let's just go destroy these guys. Ha! Oh, how the battle has turned. How the battle has turned. Okay, now they're retreating. I don't know where all these guys are getting this much militaristic might. Like, the Livonians are seriously packing in the punches. I mean, I don't know where they... Like, seriously, I don't know where they got this militaristic might from. They're just... All of a sudden, they're, like, really an important person I'm going to have to deal with. Like, before, we had to deal with maybe some soldiers, but now we're dealing with, like, major cut-up, ripped soldiers. Oh, shoot. We're probably going to lose that battle. Yeah. They combined the soldiers just at the last second, and then Norwegians. Okay, I'm going to cut off the defense of here. Okay. Nope, never mind. Just stay right here. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to cut off the defense of here. But, nope. Okay, and let's see. Are we still on a manpower limit? No, we are... We are vastly underneath it because we've been fighting so much. And I'm sorry, guys. That's the end of the episode. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. And this is a, 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 a exciting conclusion of this war.